this is your hearing apparatus. So we start with the oracle, which is this entire region right here, also known as pinna. We normally call this ear, but this is the pinna. And then I go into this tube here, which is your external acoustic meatus. At the end of the external acoustic meatus, we have this piece here that goes that way there. So this drum here is the eardrum, also known as tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane communicates with three little bones. And I'm going to have, namely here, the first one of them that looks like a, a hammer. So I call that malleus. Think of rubber mallet, mallet. So then you know that this is the malleus. Second one in line would be this one, which is your incus. And finally, this one that looks like a stirrup, the stapes. The foot plate of the stapes here, labeled as 4C, goes straight into that tube deep there. So it's going to communicate with your inner ear. And all of this here that I'm getting now is your inner ear. The foot plate of the stapes goes essentially where it's labeled A here, which is your oval window. Below that, I have this one that is rounded shape. So I call this the round window. And then what I'm holding here, the stem, this stem that I'm holding here, this snail-like structure, these ring-like structures. So this stem labeled as two here, it's called vestibule. That's what I'm holding. What I'm holding now, with my fingers, I can put my finger through them, those are the semicircular canals. And the snail-shaped organ is the cochlea. Now here I have two nerves, labeled as five, a branch of the facial nerve, and labeled as four, the cochlear nerve. So the cochlea innervates the uh, the cochlear nerve innervates the cochlea. So that's it. And then finally, one last structure here is that at the end of the external acoustic meatus, I have the option to go down your nose again. And this is your auditory tube or pharyngeal tympanic window. That's it.